xylem and phloem. Dear students, as we have learned about the transportation process in plant, now we will learn about the two main components responsible for the transportation in plants. Those two components are xylem and phloem. Xylem and phloem makes up the big transportation system of vascular plants. Trees and other vascular plants have a top and a bottom. The top has a trunk, branches, leaves or needles. The bottom is a system of roots. Each needs the other to survive. The roots hold the plant steady and grab moisture and nutrients from the soil. The top is in the light conducting photosynthesis and helping the plant reproduce. You have to connect the two parts. That's where xylem and phloem come in. The xylem of a plant is the system of tubes and transport cells that circulates water and dissolved minerals. As a plant, you have roots to help you absorb water. If your leaves need water and they are 100 feet above the ground, it is time to put the xylem into action. Xylem is made of vessels that are connected end to end for the maximum speed to move water around. When someone cuts an old tree down, they reveal a set of rings. Those rings are the remains of old xylem tissue. One ring for every year the tree was alive. The phloem cells are laid out end to end throughout the entire plant, transporting the sugars and other molecules created by the plant. Phloem is always alive. Xylem tissue dies after one year and then develops a new. What is the best way to think about phloem? Think about sap coming out of a tree. That dripping sap usually comes from the phloem.